this video, we'll demonstrate the creation and use of a private Python package repository. While some of these concepts are portable, we'll be focusing on a Google Cloud setup. This approach is serverless and leverages the Artifact Registry service. We'll also demonstrate how to create, push, and pull packages from that registry within a Jupyter Notebook environment on Vertex AI Workbench. With what we're trying to achieve now established, let's jump into the Google Cloud Console to set this up. So I have a Workbench notebook here with Python 3 running. I've already launched that notebook and have it open here. Now, there's a couple of prerequisite steps that we need to address. The first thing is creating our Python library. As a simple example, we're going to use a project that converts an open API specification to a Python client SDK. Specifically, that project is called Open API Python Client. This project isn't the focus of our video, so we won't talk about it much, but we will provide a link to the project in the description of this video. With that CLI now installed, let's create an Open API JSON file, which I'll bring from my other monitor. I've actually gotten this JSON file from an online Open API Swagger editor. If I open this file up, we can see the API specification, and I'll also note that this is Apache licensed. Anyway, let's convert this to a Python package. Exploring this Python package in the file browser, we'll see some metadata, as well as a directory for the Python code itself. We even get a nice readme for how to use the Python client. To get a package that is zippered up and ready to publish, we'll change directories and then run some build commands. This involves CLI utility installation, a build command, and a publish command. As we get ready to push, let's jump into the Cloud Console to actually create a target for our publishing, an artifact registry repository. We're going to need to enable the API since we haven't used this service in the project yet. Once that's done, we'll create the Python repository with the name API SDK Demo. For the format, we want to choose Python and need to use the standard mode. Further, we'll use a multi-region setup in the US. That's it. Once the repository is created, we can click into it to see some additional details and get some setup instructions. Back in our notebook, let's put this repository to good use. We'll run the upload command, and the output looks good. Note that the Vertex AI Workbench approach makes authentication easy here, and you may need to add a comment or environment variable here or there to get this working on external, non-Google Cloud clients. Refreshing the page in the Cloud Console, we'll see that new package ready to go. To use the package, we'll want to switch from a terminal to a Python notebook. The README for our Python client gives some instructions for using the package, but not installing or importing it. Let's do those prerequisite steps now. This keyring command ensures we have Google Cloud authentication capabilities within this notebook. If we have Google Python auth, we're good to go. Next, we need a pip command to install the client. Importantly, we provide an extra index URL, which points to our Google Cloud Artifact repository. We could alternatively mess with the system and pip configurations, but the inline approach we're showing here is often the easiest and most explicit approach. Once the package is installed, we can import it in our notebooks and scripts, as you'd expect. With this specific package, we can import and use an API client, use specific models from our API specification schemas, leverage the API endpoints, and utilize generic types like for API responses. Regardless what your Python package looks like, the demonstrated workflow should help you efficiently publish and use private Python packages. We'll monitor the comments section for any questions and want to thank you for watching.